In this video, we're going to focus on naming carboxylic acids. So let's start with some common examples. Here we have a one carbon carboxylic acid molecule. And so the common name for this is formic acid. The IUPAC name for it is called methanoic acid, since we have one carbon in this molecule. In this example, we have two carbons. The common name for this particular carboxylic acid, as you no doubt heard before, is acetic acid. And the IUPAC name, ethanoic acid. Next up, we have a four carbon carboxylic acid. And it looks like this. So the common name for this is butyric acid. And the IUPAC name is butanoic acid. Since we have a total of four carbon atoms in this molecule. So here is another example. Go ahead and write the common name and also the IUPAC name for this particular molecule based on the last example. So let's start with the common name. We know that a four carbon carboxylic acid is called butyric acid. This is the alpha carbon, the second carbon is the beta carbon, and this is the gamma carbon. So this is called beta chloro butyric acid. Now for the IUPAC name, this is going to be carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's also called 3 chloro butanoic acid. Go ahead and try this example. So write the common name and the IUPAC name. So this is the alpha carbon, this is beta, and this is gamma. So the common name, this is going to be called gamma methoxy butyric acid. Now for the IUPAC name, this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is going to be called 4 methoxy butanoic acid. For our next example, we're going to have a 6 carbon carboxylic acid molecule with an NH2 group attached to it. So what is the IUPAC name for this molecule? As always, we're going to start counting from the carboxylic acid. So the NH2 group is on carbon 4. As a substituent, the NH2 group is called amino. So this is going to be 4 amino. And since we have 6 carbons in the parent chain, hexane, but with the carboxylic acid functional group, it's going to be called hexanoic acid. And so that's the name, 4 amino hexanoic acid. Now for our next example, we're going to have this molecule. So we're going to have a ketone functional group, an amine, and also an ether. Go ahead and name the molecule. So Carbon 1 has to be the carbon with the carboxylic acid. It has the highest priority. The amino group is on carbon 4. We have a ketone on carbon 5 and a methoxy group on carbon 6. So how can we put this together? Well, we need to put it in alphabetical order. So the amino group comes first. So it's going to be 4 amino 
And then here we have a methoxy group compared to the ketone, which as a substituent is called oxo. So M comes before O in the alphabet. So this is going to be 4 amino, 6 methoxy, and then 5 oxo, and finally heptanoic acid. And so that's how we can name uh, this molecule. So 4 amino, 6 methoxy, 5 oxo, heptanoic acid. Next up, we have this molecule. So what do you think the name for this molecule is called? So we have a benzene ring and a carboxylic acid. This is known as benzoic acid. Now what if we didn't have a benzene ring? Let's say if we have a cyclohexane ring instead with the carboxylic acid attached to it. So how can we name this? This is called simply cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Likewise, let's say if we have a cyclopentane ring with the carboxylic acid functional group. This is going to be called cyclopentane carboxylic acid. Now go ahead and try this one. What is the IUPAC name for this molecule. So we have a cyclohexane ring, a carboxylic acid. So those two combined is cyclohexane carboxylic acid. But now we have a methyl group attached to it. This is automatically carbon 1 due to the carboxylic acid. And so this is going to be called 3-methyl cyclohexane carboxylic acid. And so that's how we can name that molecule. Now let's try another example. So let's say we have a cyclohexane ring attached to a chain that contains the carboxylic acid. What's the name for this molecule? So now this is going to be a substituent. So it's going to be called cyclohexyl with a YL instead of cyclohexane. And so that substituent is going to be on carbon 5. And we have an 8-carbon chain. So instead of saying octane, it's going to be octanoic acid. So to put it all together, this is 5-cyclohexyl and then octanoic acid. Now let's move on to our next example. So this time, we're going to have an alkene functional group with a carboxylic acid. So go ahead and name it. So this is going to be carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have the alkene on carbon 3 and the carboxylic acid on carbon 1. So this is going to be 3 hexene in for the alkene, and then oic for the carboxylic acid. So 3-hexene oic acid. Now, the hydrogen atoms, notice that they're opposite to each other. And so we have the trans isomer as opposed to the cis isomer. So this is trans 3-hexenoic acid. Now sometimes, you'll be given a molecule with two carboxylic acids. And so this is going to be called a dioic acid. Now we need to number it from left to right because the methyl group will be on carbon 2 as opposed to carbon 4. 
And so to put this together, this is going to be 2-methyl, and then we have a 5-carbon chain, so pentane, 2-methyl pentane, and then dioic acid. So here's another one that we could try. Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So this time, we're going to have a bromine atom attached to it and also an OH group. Go ahead and name the molecule. So since the substituents are on the left side, we're going to make this one carbon 1. So you need to number it in such a way that the substituents have the lower numbers. And now we need to put it in alphabetical order. So bromo will come before the hydroxy group. So this is going to be 2 bromo and then 3 hydroxy. Now we have a 6 carbon chain. So this is going to be hexane and then dioic acid. So that's how we can name this molecule, 2-bromo-3-hydroxy-hexane-dioic acid. Now let's go over some common names of dioic acids. So if you have a 2-carbon dioic acid, the common name is oxalic acid. Now for a 3 carbon dioic acid, the common name is malonic acid. What about a 4 carbon dioic acid? The common name for this is succinic acid. And here are some other examples. So here we have a 5-carbon dioic acid. And this is called glutaric acid. So now let's go to a 6-carbon dicarboxylic acid. And so the common name for this one is adipic acid. Now I'm going to go over two more examples. So here we're going to have a 4-carbon dioic acid, but with a cis alkene in the middle. And so the common name for this is maleic acid. For the next one, we're going to have a 4-carbon dicarboxylic acid but with a trans alkene. And so you can see the hydrogen atoms, they're opposite to each other. And so the common name for this one is fumaric acid. So that's it for the nomenclature of carboxylic acids.